Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. It is IMR100. And today, we're finally going on to Bowser's Fury. I'm, I've been so excited for this. Takes a bit to load, I forgot about that. <laughs> Here we go. And here we are in our open 3D land, 3D world. I picked a horrible time to start recording because <laughs> the um, uh, because it's like 12 now, I think. An alarm went off because that that's a normal thing cool time to start recording anyway yeah this is a 3d open area with the same controls I would say same controls but they're somewhat different from a normal 3d world but uh yeah there's big Bowser right there and we need him to break open this because they have his face on it. Or you can, yeah, you can just do a wall jump and get up there anyway, but whatever. Cat shine. Bowser goes into hiding. Wow, look at this. Help. Bowser Jr. over here. <laughs> Bowser. But Bowser is, is actually really mad. He's, he's scary looking. Look at that fire. It looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario, Dad is out of control. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. I can't change Dad back by myself. I'd never ask you for help. Never ever! But I'll do anything to save Papa. So, help me, Mario. So we're gonna help him. You teamed up with Bowser Jr. But how much should he help you? We're gonna do it a lot. So why not? One more thing to mention, I don't care. So Bowser Jr. is our teammate for this, and it, instead of a pointer, we actually control Bowser Jr. with the pointer stick. We can have him do stuff like attack, go get stuff, and all sorts of things like that. So here we are in Scamber Shore is our first area. Uh, and I guess I should explain how I'm gonna do this. Cause I have spent a ton of time 
uh, n more near the beginning of the year, speedrunning this game. And, well, like every game I speedrun, the meta has definitely changed since uh, I played. But I'm gonna pretty much be doing, uh, I think, somewhat what I did with Odyssey. Where I would pretty much do what I normally did for speedruns. Uh, but, uh, also read whatever text I need to, and all that stuff. So this is basically gonna be a, um, 100% speedrun, because I do want to do 100% for this. Can you get that? Hello? Okay, there you go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the plan. We're gonna pretty much do 100%, <clears throat> basically 100% run. And whatever happens, happens, I guess. <laughs> so, this was a big thing. Like, with, uh, when this, when this got announced. Because it was like, oh, look, it's 3D World. We've been waiting for this to come to Switch. But also it has, um, it has advanced movement and seems to be faster. Uh, there's a dive Mario does in one scene. Like, this is insane. And then Nintendo's also reporting that there's online? That's insane! And then we also got to see a little bit of what is this area. And we were so confused. Then we got a whole video explaining everything, and it was amazing. But yeah, uh, we just have a open world here to do whatever we want. And, uh, we have, actually, yeah, let's go over here first. Cause I think stuff happens, yeah. Looks like Bassett Jr. has more to say. Whoa, it's a gi it's a gigabell. I heard a cool saying about this. I think it was, when the beast rises, the gigabell will ring or something. Maybe we gotta get that splot- splotchy goop off first. Some more cat shines might do the trick. Five to awaken. So we need five cat shines in order to open up that. Which is really easy to get. Um, and up there we can see Bowser. And that's the Fury Sun, I think? I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> but it is... Uh, basically, uh, Bowser, and that's what we're waiting for, that to appear. Um, but these things, I've been collecting these this whole time. Uh, there are, so there's, there's a mission going on at each area, and you can do that, or you can get these, which are, uh, little... Shine pizzas. There's also one other thing that you can do with it, which uh, I'll show off in a bit. But uh, let's just get these first. Wow, I'm missing. Clean it up. Yeah, but let's bully the cat boys. This area, we're just gonna get the bullies in. Bowser Jr. is handling that one. Oh, wow, nice. And then we go over and we get that. Now the rain is appearing, and uh, I want to mention, periodically, Bowser will appear. Uh, it is based on a timer, and I think it goes faster depending on how many shines you have. Uh, but there is a way to scan the Bowser amiibo, and he will spawn instantly. Uh, these little blocks from before uh, that appeared during that intro bit. Yeah, they're found all over the place. But here's Bowser.
And there's the bell shining. Yeah, but in each location, we will find Bowser blocks. Uh, we're gonna want these gone as soon as possible. At least most of them. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna run, because if we go get that shine, then it will exit him out of Fury Mode. We do not want that at all, because that just wastes a ton of time. Well, not really, actually, now that I think about it, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> now we turn into a big Mario. Getting the Giga Bell. It turns us into Giga Cat Mario. And it gives us a battle against Bowser. So, we're gonna want to attack him by scratching. And then he does this. He goes up, shows where he's gonna go. And we're gonna want to ground pound him. That's pretty much it for now, I think. No, no, there's also this. He charges up, he's gonna do a beam, but actually we cancel it. Do this attack again. There we go, and he's gone. And that's it. That's it for Bowser's Peak. <laughs> oh look, a little cat rainbow. But of course, that's not it. We can't just have three little areas in one battle. We open up more land. Hey, look, look who it is! Our old friend Plessy. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splashy stuff went away. So there are, there must be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get going, right? Oh, hurry up, Mario. Oh yeah, I almost forgot it's something important. If you get lost, bring up the map. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention, Bowser Jr. uses the paintbrush uh, from Mario Sunshine. Uh, which, actually, I think this should be going up right after I start playing Sunshine, so that fits. The e logo that we see, though, is instead of replaced with a Bowser icon. A Bowser Jr. icon, actually. Um, there is mother cats that appear every now and then. I made my own video on that. Uh, I tried making a speedrun where you, your, your only goal was to uh, do that mission and more of that mission, because there are several. Uh, you know, it was a little thing I like to do. And I did a video on it, so there's that. I pretty much just did almost the whole main game in that video. But, uh, yeah, this is me not doing that and playing normally. Anyway, this area, every, well, every area seems to have its own gimmick. It's somewhat, uh, this one, definitely these jump pads.
We use these, we go everywhere, and I don't know how to go higher than this, but there is stuff up there. There's like a hidden cloud. We got some cats here. Uh, based off of the cat suits, they have different colors. Which was really weird, because we saw that in the trailer, and it was, we were like, oh, is, is it something to do with the other people? Because we haven't seen, uh, we, like, in any of the trailers, we haven't seen Luigi, or Peach, or Toad, or even Rosalina. Where are they? Nowhere. The cats mean nothing. They just live here. There's all those. Here's the lighthouse shine, which actually opens up more land, as we'll see here. And there's a shine there that I can get with a little trick, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll show it off, I'll do it normally for once. You're supposed to hit those. But there's a way to just, you know, jump and do that, which I think I did in my cat percent video. So, if you want to see it, there. Uh, there's plus signs every, or er, like question mark, plus signs? Question mark blo uh, block little things right here. Uh, that he can paint and uh, it'll cost things. Like, this is money room. Uh, money, not really that important. But it does let you get a new item every 100 coins. Uh, each of these docks will have Plessy appear. Plessy has certain spots that uh, she will appear in. Just randomly. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go places. Uh, you can dive, which isn't that important. But if you jump out of a dive, well, you get speed boost. I really like doing a dive into a jump dot, or like, like just keep doing it over and over again. Because it works and it's fast. Here's a little thing right here, a uh, little battle area. These are everywhere. Like there's like three of them actually. <laughs> Cold Cove Combat. Uh, if you have noticed my movement, I'm vectoring. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of something fun to do, and it makes you go faster, so, yeah. Slip Skate Slope. Uh, this one, just like all areas having a gimmick, this gimmick is these, uh, the, the boot. I missed that. No, Bowser Jr., you get it. There we go. Well, we lost the boot. Which actually is that that's a problem. I should give up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's just go back. Oh, wait. There's one right here. This one right here. Whoa. <laughs> Went a little too fast. Go up here. And here's another one. Here's a little token. Yeah, but the tokens are really easy to get. And really good to get on your first time. Going through. And there's another one. So, we made it to the second bell. Bowser's not coming out anytime soon. And I think we're almost near enough to actually get the bell on again. So, with that and reaching 20 minutes, that's it for this video. Uh, see y'all next time. Go to the Discord. And I'm so excited to play some more of this. Goodbye.